Thanks. Hello, everyone. Oh, thank you for joining us. I can see Casey. Okay, I'm going to wait 4 p.m. to start and to kick off in a very exciting time for us. Uh, and you will see in a few minutes who is going to join us. So, okay, as you can see, uh, I'm not in home today. Uh, I'm in the office. Uh, we all work remotely and we got the chance to come as much as we want at the office, which has been working out very well for, for our organization. But today, uh, let me introduce myself first, uh, uh, Stefan Kolleu, President and CEO of the Dr. Brand Skin Care and the Dr. Brand Foundation. And uh, a few years ago, yeah, I think it was two years, uh, I went in LA and I met uh, uh, someone who was very interesting. Her, her name is um, uh, Lauren and she's a blogger and a podcaster, but she has also her own channels called The Skin Confidential. She's very well known for health, wellness and beauty and lifestyle. And I think all of that is very important for us as being a Dr. Brand Skincare line because today we are a dermatologic skincare line, but we're also moving into a concept which is called integrative dermatology, which takes the conservative way to think about dermatology with a new therapeutic way to think about it. And I think the scientific world is moving into this customization when we start to understand more how uh, lifestyle factors uh, can affect our life, uh, um, but also like biological and psychological. So um, let me uh, invite uh, uh, Lorraine who is going to join us and I think uh, today she wants to share about her skin routine, her journey in the beauty world and also giving a lot of some tips that she learned with all these years. So I'm going to ask her to join us. I think she's connecting. Hi. Hey, how are you, Lorraine? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, you know, pretty busy, a little bit stressed, and a lot of things happen on a personal and professional, as you can imagine, but a little bit like you, because I know you've got a beautiful daughter, five months old. And five just... months old. I want her skin so bad. Uh, let's. You know what? It's funny you think that because today I'm celebrating a six month old for my daughter. She's been born, so and her name is uh, Shaya. But I was thinking the same thing. For me, I want to create maybe a, a skincare line for babies because uh, I think um, there's a lot of things we can do in this area. But you're right, they are flawless skin, and it's something we dream of every day knowing that we're born and we such a. Skin. Hopefully, Dr. Brandt Skincare can get me her skin because I've never seen anything like her skin. Yeah, I know, I know. But uh, that's why we are here also to see how we can delay the aging uh, process. And I think there's so many ways. But I think you're a big advocate because I, I read so many things about you. You a big, uh, you like to prevent. And I know you have been taking care of yourself, not only on, uh, on the basic way, but also seeing and meeting dermatologists. And I know it's something that I learned from Dr. Bryant. It's better to prevent your skin than try to take care of it when it's already, you see already the damage. Absolutely. And I think there's, there's nothing better than to have a canvas for your makeup than glowy, dewy, plump skin. To me, when someone has beautiful skin, it's the first sign of youth. And I think now we're becoming so smart with bringing it down to our tits, down to our hands, our fingers, like, honestly, like even our knees, we're being so smart about skin right now. I think this is the biggest moment for preventative beauty. Um, and you guys have so many good products, which we're going to go over. We're also going to talk about my skincare routine. I yeah. want to know what's, what your skincare routine is, though, because your skin's looking pretty glowy. Uh, we can go with my skincare routine as well, if you want. At the same time, you would do yours. But obviously, I'm using Dr. Brown's skincare line, but understanding the principle, which is cleaning your skin every day, uh, exfoliating at least one twice a week, and then uh, getting a moisturization at least minimum during the day and a repairing screen at night. And obviously, most importantly, is to always cover your skin, which I'm not a good representative today because you can see I'm a little bit tan. And we know we're in Florida. I'm trying to play tennis with my two boys. 
so once a while and it's easy it's not easy to protect your skin when you're sweating so much uh, with uh, such a high temperature but uh, i might pick your brain because i feel like i have a huge audience of women who have husbands or significant others that don't get the hint on doing a skincare routine and i think that it needs to be normalized especially with men so maybe we can discuss a little bit about how you really got into it and maybe tell them a product that they should start out with I know I started Michael with a great serum and he became addicted and now he has like a 12 step. So maybe we can, as we're walking through my skincare routine, we can also touch on yours. Yeah, absolutely. So let's kick up, but also maybe you can tell us where you are because I know a lot of people have been taking care of their skincare routine, especially being in quarantine, uh, knowing that you don't wear a lot of makeup as a woman as you used to because you don't get out every day and it's been clearing up the skin and getting a little bit more, um, uh, desire uh, to find the perfect skincare regime and so let's kick off with you because I think in California unfortunately like in Florida you're still in quarantine and uh, so what is how you're dealing with your skincare regime and also I think it's super interesting to hear a little bit your journey because you are a, a new mom like uh, and I, I am also so I know it's never easy when you go through the pregnancy and then you got the baby and you need to get back with your hormonal cycle in a, in a regular Anyway, and you get affected with your skin. So let's talk about all of that. I'm sure your community will be very interesting to discuss uh, regarding all of that. Yeah, I think that th if anyone's listening, the main problems that I have with my skin are like you said, I was pregnant, so I got pregnancy mask. I already had hyperpigmentation from birth control. I was on it for 10 years, and the pregnancy obviously enhanced uh, the melasma and hyperpigmentation and the brown mustache and all the stuff. So that's one thing. And then after I gave birth, my hormones were all over the place, which I'm like on this spree of talking about hormones. And um, one of the things that I really noticed that happened after pregnancy was I started getting chin acne, which as you know, is hormonal acne. Um, and then probably just like for me, like you said earlier, it's the preventative, the preventative beauty and being and making sure my skin's plump and youthful and those fine lines and wrinkles aren't really prevalent. So um, with quarantine, I think that it's a really good opportunity for everyone who's watching and any anyone who's out there to really, really take their skincare seriously. And even when when I talk skincare, I even mean hair and nails. If you noticed, I decided that I'm giving my hair a break, I decided I'm giving my skin a break and my nails a break. So this is such a perfect time to let your roots grow out, let your hair get healthy, let your skin breathe, really concentrate on some easy tangible steps, steps that make a difference in your skincare routine and even your nails. Like I, I am just giving everything a break to breathe. It's such a great time. So with quarantine, obviously skincare is on the forefront. So a lot of masking, a lot of moisturizing, which we're going to get into all these specific steps. Um, I, if we want to start it, just cleansing. I like to cleanse at night, not in the morning. And I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I am not a big fan of over cleansing. So I'll, I'll cleanse at night. I'll use like a balm or a cleanser. Um, and I do not take my makeup off with makeup wipes. I'm a huge fan of removing the makeup with oil. Um, I've like said this, like always, I order room service, olive oil and remove my makeup. I just think it's so much uh, more delicate on the skin than pulling the skin down with the wipe. So um, the cleanse always happens at night for me. And, and I also say that because I like to let certain products sink into the skin. So like if I'm using a certain moisturizer or serum at night, I can sleep with that and wake up and it's the goodness is like still on my skin. I really like that. Um, and I'm also a fan of exfoliating like three times a week. We talked about this. I've been using your, your microderm abrasion. Oh, yeah. And this is like, like in a bottle, you just apply this and you leave it on for a couple minutes and then you wipe it off and you just have this really glowy skin. I, I like to exfoliate only two to three times a week. Some people like to do it every day. Oh. Um, I even bring it down to my hands and use the microderm on my hands too. Um, so that's like as far as my cleanse. I hope that didn't overwhelm anyone, but I don't uh, cleanse in the morning. Uh, I don't think you said a lot of very good things, but I think being uh, doing this at night, that's the most important thing because this is your break. You're saying we have more break than ever because we're staying now during the day. 
but the real breakdown in active life is during the night. So you absolutely have right to be at this time get a more deep cleaning at night. That's why you can repair your skin and adding maybe a cream that also is going to full and plump your skin. But uh, what you do in the morning when you wake up, you go straight uh, uh, directly to your skincare regimen and makeup regimen, or you cleaning? You do a, a, a small cleaning on your face when you wake up. I usually do like a toner. Um, I'm very big on Korean toners. I found this beauty water that they have that's like um, very refreshing. And I'm a big fan of Korean skincare. And um, then, I'll, then after that, I'll usually do a vitamin C serum. I think vitamin C is so important. And if, if there's a, a product that, that Dr. Brandt team can recommend for a vitamin C for the audience while I'm saying this, that would be amazing. Like, is there one that has tons of vitamin C in it? No, but no, no. okay. Allow me to jump a little bit. Yes, I'm super exciting. It's a little bit never from here, so we don't like to talk about things that is not really in the market. But uh, just a few minutes ago, you talk about dark spot no more, and you talk about spot and pigmentation. And lately, we just launched, uh, you know, products that's called dark spot no more, and it's about pigmentation. So uh, it's 15 ml. It's a very concentrated. It's got more than 25 percent brightening agents. It's a triple acid, but it's for all skin type, including sensitive skin. We did a multiple test. And what is very interesting, you put very locally where you got some spots. We have to be careful. There's different spots uh, depending on aging spots, sun spots, but hormonal and spot as well. And we cannot correct all of them. But for the one that are aging and mostly caused by the sun, we can definitely minimize and try to. To, to, to take care of it and this product so do you use it as a spot treatment for instance this is where my hyperpigmentation is yeah, like what I put that on spots. yeah and you can apply and you put uh, where you have and you can it's very located that's a targeted one but so just to get back on what you just asked me if you told me about vitamin C and the way we design uh, this uh, uh, products we just realize the pigmentation it's something everyone is suffering but I think it's the most difficult way to address it because it's very complex. And like I it's said, it's so complex. To... Oh so my God. For me personally, after all the research and everything we try, I don't think one unique product can solve the pigmentation. So what we did, we customized with something that can target different kind of spots and hopefully can minimize after two weeks, we got very good clinical results. But then after we combine and with the vitamin C and that's our sister. So a sister uh, will be born pretty soon because it will be on the market by the end of the year. And what it is in this vitamin C, we put 20% pure stabilization of THD, which is the raw rolls of the vitamin C. It's not ascorbic acid, which is a derivative of the vitamin C that I know a lot of people are using it. And sometimes you can play with derivatives. So the THD is the most expensive, the most challenging one. But what I'm insisting on 20% because when you get pure stabilization is the maximum of your body can contain on a daily basis. So if you claim over, your body is going to reject. And the vitamin C, as we said, is going to have anti-aging benefits, but also discoloration benefits. But when and we just, someone just asked, what about acne scars? Vitamin C is also amazing for acne scars. So I yes. know a lot of people struggle with that. I think that's because you get dark spots usually where there's an acne scar. Absolutely. So the vitamin C, I've talked to so many experts and I don't, tell me if you agree, they all say vitamin C is so fading for the scars as well. It, it will, but I think I would suggest also to have with the exfoliation because you talk about mechanical exfoliation like the macroderma vision that you share uh, i think and we can get this back. is the one i have that's the one yes. i have right here and it's a special version uh, i would say what is it about because it's called say i love you and you can see behind me uh, we got also a, a beautiful heart with say i love you you told me to pick my two favorite products that's funny that you have this is the one that i picked oh, okay but yeah so i will share what it is but just to finish uh, about pigmentation because i think you talk about uh, a, a very important concerns for a lot of people. So we put the vitamin C with brightening agent as well. So we put 20% THD pure stabilized vitamin C with 4% exasorcinol and 1% plantant extract, which all combined can obviously, it's going to work against discoloration. But what you will know, and just for you to understand our philosophy, and that's what matters the most. And that's why we always learn from Dr. Brian before he asks any skin concern or issue you have when you meet him in the office, is liquid sun shield will be a sun, um, a sun care products. But I wanted to design a sun care products that become flawless in your routine and that don't force you and say, oh, I have to put the sun care. We always do when we go on vacation, but when I'm going to go to my office 
and driving. I, I want to be. You don't want to be overwhelmed. So that I sounds like that's a good one to manipulate your significant yeah. other into. into and, and uh, have, yeah, and we're just in the process. It will be launched by next March in April, but we just got, we got an SPF 50, which we are super happy because there is no white cast. It's only zinc oxide, which is a mineral sunscreen against UVA, UVB, infrared, uh, UV, and pollution. And then when you combine the three, and then you can ask the exfoliation. I'm a big believer right now. You got the perfect regimen to truly to tackle with exfoliation because even if this one could truly give a good benefits, I don't think it's enough powerful. But with the combination of the three and doing once or twice or three times an exfoliation uh, on a weekly, you get the magic uh, to work with. And and you like that during the day? You like how I'm using vitamin C during the day? You think that's during, good? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, during the day, but this one, if you work also because of the dark spots and because of the brightening agent with it, I would suggest to do EM and PM if you really want to work with very high result that you will expect in two weeks. We're still waiting for our clinical test because this product is going to launch by the end of this year. Okay. So this is what we're doing. And then get back with your explanation. I think uh, this one is funny enough. Uh, I don't know if people know, but uh, Dr. Brennan was a very pioneering doctor of skincare line, but he was the first skincare line to launch a macrodermabrasion. And a microdermabrasion, for people who doesn't know, it's something we used to do only in a dermatological office with an institution. But when they, I remember, I, I, when I was like 18 years old, they did the suction cup thing suction, on me, and yeah. now you can just do it in a bottle. In a bottle, and now you can way do more efficient. Bottle. That way, the concept started in 2000. Take the doctor home with you, and he brought. But what I, I was always amazed about Dr. Brian is always to bring something legit, and he used the same pharmaceutical grade crystals. This is aluminium crystal that he used in his own office, and he used the same thing for the commercial uh, version with this macrodermabrasion. And today, because it was our 25 year celebration, despite we facing this COVID 19, which is a challenge, we decided to customize with our hearts and a tagline say, I love you. Uh, why? Because I don't know for people who doesn't know, but um, we uh, lost uh, tragically our beloved founder, Dr. Brands, and uh, after a, a deep depression. And at this time, I thought something needed to be done, and we decided to create the Dr. Brand Foundation. And we come up with different action. And Say I Love You become a speaker series when usually I always invite uh, um, a national um, a business people who has a very important and very powerful storytelling to talk about uh, their journey and their path with depression. And, and we do a speaker series when these people come and we meet with scientific uh, that come from the University of Miami that we work with and someone from the Dr. Brain Foundation. And we wanted to sponsor more uh, all our action that we're doing nationally and locally. And one dollar of the purchase of each of these products since the beginning of the year will go directly to the Dr. Brand Foundation. So uh, we hope- I, You know how passionate, we talked about this before I am about mental health. Yeah. Um, I talked about this a lot on my podcast and my blog. Um, I lost my mom to mental health and I recently, you know, experienced postpartum anxiety and it, you know, it makes me nervous. Um, my sister has experienced mental health issues as well. And um, it's so cool that a skincare brand's acknowledging that. I hope that more brands can um, can start doing things like that and really zoning in on a cause like that. Um, and I, maybe that's why I'm so attracted to this one out of all of them. Because like I said, you told me to pick two products. Um, people are asking, they say sometimes they feel overloaded on product. And I would say one of the one of the main things I think that makes a big difference is the exfoliation. So it's getting the dead skin cells off. And it's interesting, like with all the experts and doctors that I interview on the podcast, I always look for common denominators. Like I always see who's what like what is the same thing that everyone keeps saying. And exfoliation is definitely something yeah. that you people say a lot. You don't want that dead skin. And also you want to be able to get your blood circulation going and your lymphatic system going in the face. And that exfoliation really drains the face and gets, gets your circulation going. So that's one thing that you should look into. And then um, I'm also, like I said, a big fan of not using makeup wipes to pull the face down. No, but I agree with you. But just for people to understand, this one is a mechanical exfoliation, meaning that it's a very small crystal, like looks like diamond. They are very thin, and you're doing on a wet skin, and you massage very gentle, no more than 30 seconds. That's it. That's enough because uh, the crystals are so 
um, well designed that they're going to perform and take off a lot of their skin cells. That's why you should do only at night and you're absolutely right when you said at the beginning, I do deep cleaning only at night because then you have a baby skin for the first time because you take off a lot of their cells. That's why you should do always this one at night. And then otherwise you have chemical peeling. When the chemical is this where you use glycolic acid in a very strong percentage, this works well, but that's not for everyone. The beauty of this one can work for everyone. Some of them will use only once a week, some then twice a week, but you can do the break and you can minimize and temper uh, the level of exfoliation that you need on a weekly basis. That's the beauty of having a mechanical exfoliation. And because that's the same crystal we're using in a medical office, I can tell you, you get instant gratification and results. And there's been 25 years that this product is still alive and because of all the customer who truly trust and and believe on these products, which are, we are very happy, and that's why we want to have these products to follow up also and to help us to raise um, the mental health through the foundation. I, I think too that a lot of um, women notice that women age quicker than men, and um, I have found that I think one of you the think reasons. It's true? Yeah, I do, and I think it's because men shave their face, and they're constantly exfoliating their face. So for me, with, with the exfoliation of two times a week, I also shave my face. I've talked about that a lot. And I think that that's just a, a tribute to how powerful exfoliating your face is um, yeah. to get that smooth, youthful skin. So if you find yourself doing like a Korean 10 step with a cleanse and a tone and a serum and an eye cream, and you're not seeing the results that you really want, I would add an exfoliation in and personally, like I shave my face. You don't want to use the same razor over and over because you don't want to spread bacteria. And um, I use one of those tinkle razors and it works like a gem. And between the exfoliation and the razor, when I put my makeup on, I notice that there's like a plump glowiness to the skin that I wouldn't be able to get if I wasn't frequently exfoliating my face. Yeah, no, no, it's a must to do it, uh, absolutely. But uh, the beauty of the mechanical, you can adjust because some people sometimes overdo. And like you said, sometimes skin needs a break or not, and you can adjust uh, as much as you want, but you will get different results. But you're I mean, also- you're, you're being hit on in the comments right now. So I feel like something's working that you're doing. It must be the exfoliation glow mixed with the microderm, mixed with shaving. <laughs> So yeah, I do, I do. I did last night knowing that I would be on live with you today. So you got me, <laughs> you got me guys. Yeah, well done, well done. No, this but- is also, I also think that if your, your husband or your boyfriend or your significant other is not good at exfoliation, this is a quick exfoliation that, that'll just get it going and stimulate the, uh, stimulate the surface so you don't have to take them in for an appointment like you said and do the whole thing. It's just quick and efficient. And great inspiration, exfoliate, and like you said, can work and minimize scars. And if you have only small acne, it will work out. But if you have very deep acne, you need to go under a prescription. You need to see a dermatologist. Is, is it bad that I take it all the way down, like to my boobs? Like I, I get in there. I no, think that, like, and even when I spray tan, if it's like seven days after the spray tan, and I want to get that off, I find that taking it all the way down and even to my hands and my shoulders is is very powerful with making my skin glow. Uh, I'm so glad you're saying that because something I learned also from Dr. Brian is the tips, but think about it. When you do and you clean, you do that so EM and PM, and you have the same uh, gesture. And every time you do, you do your hand, and you do your neck and here and decollete. And we are here in Miami in Florida, and when in the medical office, you see all these women who are taking care of their face. But sometimes they forgot also the neck and decollete, and they have been exposed because of the sun and being located in Florida for over 30 years in the ends. So the face will look outstanding uh, according to our age. But if you look on the ends on the neck decollete, sometimes you might notice that definitely which how old are this person. So we always need to think about it. And here the neck and decollete, you have to right. You need to exfoliate uh, always. So you, yes, if you have the opportunity. You should always extend on the neck and the decollete. I mean, I would take it down to the bottom of my feet for like a cracked heel or something if I could. You know I would. I, <laughs> I, I would take it all the way. All the, I would take it to my knees if I could. But I, I also but, think that it's important to mention too, like if you're going to exfoliate, um, say you're, say you're going to use this on like a Tuesday night. On Wednesday, I would make sure that you're wearing a hat. And I'm talking about even wearing a hat from getting out of your car to go to a gas station to pump gas. Like that little break, wear a hat because 
your skin is, is, um, is more um, inclined to get sunburned or more hyperpigmentation if you expose it too soon and make sure you're wearing sunscreen too, um, especially after you're exfoliating. And if you're going for a peel, don't even think about, in my yeah. opinion, going in the sun for like two weeks. Yeah, but for me, like I said, um, microdermabrasion, you do always at night, you never do it during the day because yes. during the day, honestly, you take off so many death layers on the cells, you touching, you can be close of the dermy, especially with a good one, like the one we have, I will never do it during the day even if you're not having any sun uh, uh, because you always get exposed when you get outside. So definitely it should be done only at night. That's probably the best. Only if, but you're also giving a good tips. If you're getting out at night and you want to exfoliate a little bit, that's the perfect way also to go to evening, get a small exfoliation in a shower, and then you can do your skincare and makeup regimen is perfect. But get back to what you said, neck and decollete. I'm not talking about exfoliation. I'm talking about cream. Everything that you apply on your face, you always have something left. And then you do on your hands and you do whatever is left. And just doing this small uh, gesture, I think, can provide uh, its calls. Only a few minutes can give you years of aging or not aging uh, because that's just a question of practice. But you bring do you in think? Do you agree that exfoliation is one of like the main fountains of youth? Uh, it's part of it. I don't think it's the main one because, like you said, uh, exfoliation is fine, but then at the, the end, you need to entertain. You need also to protect your skin. So if you cannot protect your skin against sun, I don't think you will get the result despite you exfoliate every day. So it definitely can be part of it, but it's not the only one. I agree with you, and you know how crazy I am. I have driving gloves that I got off Amazon. I have hats. I, have, I went and tinted my car windows. I just think all those little things make a big difference yeah. in the long run and and even and i keep saying this but even if you're running into 7-eleven and you have i just carry a hat with me and throw it on it takes five seconds those yeah. little those little tiny habits make up big success in the long run it's interesting you're saying because dr brand wrote a book called 10 minutes 10 years and you can read the book uh, and you can open anytime it just tips in life and the tip is exactly what you just said and i think it's so interesting because like the one that's all you here doing this or you can eat an apple if you have the ability to eat an apple which one you're going to pick up the green one the yellow one or the red one technically you should use the green one because that's the one that has less glycation and glycation we know is sugar is going to kill the fibroblast it goes so this book is so funny because it's small tips and that's why it's called 10 minutes 10 years it's like also you're cooking. If you're cooking and everyone wants to do everything fast, uh, always, you do an event and you cook in a maximum in a high temperature, it creating glycation in the meat. So what it would suggest, is said, take 40 minutes and, and, but that's, and then it won't create glycation and it won't break the fibroblast and the collagen in your skin. So it's a lot of these kind of small tips in life, like you said, protecting your window when you're driving and you do this and you do this and you do this. At the end of the day, for sure, at uh, 40 years old, you look um, absolutely fantastic uh, because you have been taking care and you learned that at the earlier stage. I mean, I want a Corvette car, or I want not, not a Corvette, but the thing, what's the thing, what's it called? A convertible. I'd love one, but I yeah. just know it's yeah, just yeah. not worth it. And some people said, like, doctors recommend sun. And right now I'm getting sun in my house just by sitting here. There's sun coming through. When in the morning I open the shades first thing, I get sun like that. So. You, I think, this is my opinion, I'm not a doctor, but this is my opinion, that you do get sun in little bits throughout the day. And I think that if some of those little bits, like you can throw the hat on or you can put sunscreen on, mixed with a good vitamin D vitamin, like yeah. I, I'm good. I feel very like energized. Yeah. Um, so th I think that you have to kind of find what works for you. For um, you. I also do like a, a, like a red a red light all the time. Um, I have like a handheld one by Juve and I just, I apply my skincare and then I just go in front of the Juve. Um, and the red light has tons of benefits for the skin and hyperpigmentation. Oh, okay. But you do a lot already. So I'm very impressed. But uh, at the end of the day is to find the perfect balance in your lifestyle and what you do. But the exposure on the sun, I will give you what also uh, Dr. Brian is giving in his book. He said, of course you need vitamin D, it's good to go. So usually he gives a recommendation of we can a hat can fully protect you because you need to protect. But if you don't want to, I think you should never go to the sun from 11 until 2 p.m. And then you can go before because this is where you get your vitamin D, but you won't get as exposed as much as it is if you are during this specific time. And sometimes it's, 
you can multiply by 50 times the heat of the UV, UVB during these three hours, it's just getting earlier or the later. So small thing like this can also change and drive the weight. You can having less damage uh, regarding uh, lifestyle factors. Just don't lay out in the sun like Magda from Something About Mary with that huge, um, that huge reflector with baby oil all over your face. You don't yeah. want to do that. Um, I see a lot of questions about, about puffiness under the eyes. Um, oh. I know that you guys have a peptide gel and the peptides tighten underneath the eyes and, and sort of make the eyes feel awake and pull the face up. Um, I personally think with a good eye cream like that, and you want to make sure it's a good one because you don't want one that causes milia, um, which are those little white dots, yeah. like a good tightening eye cream with facial massage to drain the lymphatic system because that puffiness is usually because you do need to drain um, is like the key. What, what are your thoughts on that? No, I think you already said, I think you have to be careful because like you said, the white thing that could be depend on how, um, uh, the texture of the, the, the cream and depending of course on your skin type and your needs. So today we have the DNA eye, but it's more heavy. We taste shea butter, but you have peptide that work against dark circles. But I know today uh, it became our number one product last year. It's called No More Baggage. And the No More Baggage became from a technology that I saw that MIT was working on on the film matrix. The film matrix is a new potential uh, venue of a new products when you can bring a silicone skin into your face and instantly can uh, erase uh, the expression lines. So when we saw that, we thought it was very cool and very interesting and we tried to figure out how we can manipulate this technology that is not in the market to find a silicone non-visible skin and we call No More Baggage and this one is really for poofiness and it became our number one products because I think a lot of people have some concern about that but it's not going to moisturize your skin. So it's not only an eye product, it's a plus. And you apply, you tap, you just need to mix, uh, I think, I don't have with me here, but um, it's called No More Baggage, and you mix a little bit of the texture, it's a little bit um, in orange, because there's a lot of botanical, and you're going to pat on top of it, and you do it, then on top of it, you're going to, to apply your moisturizer, and it's going to erase the poofiness, mostly instantly, so you got visible effects. I know some people might see results better than yours, like anything else. Each individual might react differently depending on the technology. But we got extraordinary uh, results and it became our number one. So I would suggest no more baggage or puffiness. That would be a lifesaver because you go to a party, you get out, or you don't, you have jet lag, you're using, and it works instantly. And then you can use a moisturizer around your face. I prefer a tightening eye cream. I definitely am very... Be very careful of the ones, like you said, that cause those white dots. Yeah. Um, there's nothing worse when you have, like, an eye cream on and you're sweating and you get, like, those little white dots. So that's important to look for. Yeah. Um, the puffiness, the dark circles, everyone thinks it's from lack of sleep. I think it's because you need to get your uh, lymphatic system drained. I'll never shut up about that because... You know, I had such bad jaw surgery, like the worst ever, and I was swollen for four years. And the only thing that took it away was facial manipulation. So oh. I think, and, and facial manipulation mixed with the right products. Um, and you were asking earlier what like a daytime skincare routine was. And we talked about toner. We talked about serum. I love a mist. I really like a mist to wake me up in the morning. Um, I think that it gives you like energy. I don't know if that's just a placebo effect, but I love a mist. It's, it's, um, it's, 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 it's the it's best. best. I'll show you, but uh, I'm very happy you said that because the team asked to develop such a products, but it's very sensorial. We're just looking at what mist could bring some clinical data because we are very uh, data driven, scientifically speaking. So every product needs to give a purpose that's part of our mission statements. But the mist, me, uh, I know the team is wants one, and that's something that uh, now you're asking also, we might think more diligently. But your mist is, it looks like a toner. Or it's just a mist to refresh your skin before and pumpering your skin before applying uh, the rest of your skin carriage. I actually lied. The first thing I do is a mist, and then I also mist at the end, I, just because I like I like how a mist wakes me up. Yeah. Um, and I like I like a mist with like a cooling cucumber or a lavender or something that's going to calm my senses. The, I just want to say this too. I think this is important. If what I say sounds overwhelming, it's not because everything that I try to make every area of my life very streamlined and optimized. So like everything is like in a row ready to go. This whole process is like, I missed, I tone, 
Like I, I put the, sorry, you paused. I put the, the serum on and then um, sometimes I'll do, um, I like to do the retinol usually at night, but then obviously a sunscreen. Um, I think in quarantine right now, you should still be wearing sunscreen. I think a lot of people don't think that they need to wear sunscreen because they're inside. But what people don't realize is the blue light from our phone and the light yeah, from the yeah. ceiling. I call it DMV lights because there's nothing more unattractive than a DMV light and Nordstrom's dressing room. Those two lights are like the most unattractive lighting you can ever see. It's the light on your face like all the time. So don't forget to wear your sunscreen just because you're indoors, don't skip on it. Um, that's, that's one tip that I have. No, but you're right. Plus there is the technology now with against infrared and UV light. So we can, and, and a lot of sun care products uh, and skin care products you're using it. So you can definitely protect your skin, which is the beauty of it. Technology is always moving a step further. So we truly do have products that can protect again the DMV light, like you said. The DMV, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like when you go yeah. to the DMV and you have to take the ugly license photo, well, they'll, they'll only take one of you and yeah. you have to look straight on and you're like, no, this is my good side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I almost know. wanted to bring a diva light there. Yeah, no, but, but that's good. But also you're raising a concern that people, uh, the skin is getting more, there's more aggression on skin every day because this is also our kind of life we're living today in the society. And because of that, I think there's a lot of, inflammation issue at different kind of level, but for everyone. And something today, I think uh, um, uh, it, we are thinking more. That's why we we brought uh, a new franchise called Pre and Post Biotic, which talk about microbiome, but also can talk about inflammation of the skin. And everyone can have some inflammation issue. So you're talking about uh, UVA, UVB, but also infrared, uh, that's great inflammation to the skin. And, uh, yeah, don't forget about your phone. We're staring at our phone all day yeah, long. It's, it's so important. I mean, even even when you're, this is random, but even when you're winding down at night, I have my phone set to red mode. So instead of it on the blue mode, it automatically switches to red mode, which is like a really red light. And it tells my brain to wind down. Um, just I those little tips can lower your cortisol, which lowers your stress, which is good and, for all different kinds of things. So that's and, important too. Um, you asked me to pick two of my favorite products. I showed I showed the first one, the microderm, which it seems like you're a huge fan of. Yeah. But the other one that I picked, and that sort of brings me to my next step in my skincare routine, because we talked about sunscreen, is the pore refiner. And this this one, I have used two bottles of this. Um, this is like the one that I would recommend to the audience if you want to try something. I like it because it has a little bit of a tint to it. Mm -hmm. So I don't look like sloth from the Goonies in the morning when I see Michael, like I, I have some sunscreen on, I have a little bit of tint and this also, it like makes your pores and tell me if I'm saying this right, it makes them look smaller and almost like filled in, but without the heavy cakey foundation look. And it also lays really, really nicely under a foundation. So if you want to put this on and then, you know, three hours later, you want to throw on like an it cosmetics, CC cream with a beauty blender, you're going to get a really nice canvas for your face. So if you guys are starting with something by the Dr. Brandt team, this is what I would recommend personally. No, but thank you for saying that. This one, it's one of our top products. It was number one before No More Baggage became number one last year, but it's been number one for years. And it's surprising. I'm not surprised. I literally um, had no idea that that's just yeah. like, and that's it's a product. Product. It's a primer and a primer, but this primer, what is the beauty of it? I think you say it very well. It's, uh, it's taking care of the pores. And I think you have a beautiful primer today that gives a beautiful canvas before you- I'm can... wearing it right now. This is what I, this okay. is the primer. I'm wearing foundation over it, but I'm wearing this primer. And, and, and guy can also wear it on a T-zone because we're in Florida with a lot of humidity. And also what it does, you don't shine, you don't look your own oily when you wear these products. But the beauty of it is going to treat your pores because we got tea tree oil, we got salicylic acid. So at the same time you apply primer, it doesn't clog the pores and use as a canvas before using the makeup. It's going to treat uh, the pores at the same time you're using also as a primer and avoiding a shiny and oily look looking. So that's the beauty, combine all of that and bringing also some treatments. That's the beauty of this primer, having a treatment on the pores as well. And yeah, so you know, I think what I'm obsessed with about it is that you there's makeup brands and there's skincare brands and even though a primer is like essentially makeup 
-hmm. I like the fact that this was made by a skincare brand because you are paying paying attention to to the skin. Like you know that it's not going to clog your pores. There's so many primers that you wear that you feel like you're wearing a shield over your face, that's, and that's, I don't like that. But the point so, when you do that, unfortunately for the consumers, the the base is beautiful and you love it. You're using it. But you as a consumer, you will never know that it comes from that because you're going to start breaking out probably 10 days later on. And you will never do the correlation that's because of these products and you will chase what happened, why I'm breaking out. And sometimes it's because one of the products has been, uh, you know, clogging your pores. And but doing that over time, a few days, that's why you're starting breaking out. But you have no clue it's because of that. So the whole point of bringing the primer for us was to make this treatment effect and to take care of the pore thanks to salicylic acid, salicylic acid and tea tree oil as well that bring yeah i'm gonna and i'm gonna show you guys like what it looks like yeah see how it's like um it's kind yeah, of tinted so yeah. it's not the normal clear primer um it's like it's underneath this foundation but it's also giving me coverage and it's really lightweight and moisturizing at the same time it almost feels like a moisturizer um it's light and fluffy and, and it smells good too. That's another thing. It smells good. So many primers smell bad. And it's mostly for all ethnicities as well. Look, your skin looks a little bit uh, much more, uh, I'm much more tan than you. And I can apply here. And that's the beauty of it also. You can wear on your purse and you can reapply as much as you want. And when you're living in Florida, uh, you're going to apply in the morning. But I swear to you, at 2 p.m., if you get out, go in, go out, you're going to be shiny and only look. And the beauty of it, you don't have to redo your makeup. You can apply like this on a T-zone. And it's completely flawless and go instantly and you don't look shiny. And I can apply like this. Someone someone just asked a good question. Can any skin tone wear this primer or is there something else that you would recommend for different you know, skin tones? It, that's the beauty of it. It works for mostly all the skin tone, except it really dark skin, uh, very darker. And we are working on it to bring something that will work out for the darker skin. But that's mostly for all the skin tone, except it very dark skin. That, that's yeah, the and I also, I do think men could wear it even though there is a light tint, um, like yeah. you said. I think that it's, it's, it's like that lightweight, but it's the perfect quarantine tint. So if you're inside and you're too lazy to put on makeup, like me most of the time, try it. That's the one that I would recommend. I think another thing that I would love to hit on is natural products. So, so say you're at home and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm on a budget, I can't afford a lot, what can I do? And I would say that oils, I there's nothing better than a cold pressed grapeseed oil that you can literally buy at the market. I sometimes will just rub it all over like the upper half of my body and just let my skin sit in it and soak it up. Um, if I do do that though, I do like to exfoliate before because I'm gonna get all the benefits of the oil. So you could do something like the microdermabrasion and then you could just let your, like, so, your skin soak up all the goodness of the oils. There's so, much, there's so much benefits of oil and I do feel like it's one of the things that fights fine lines and wrinkles. Um, I would say it's number one. And I also think it's important to hit on the gut and how important the inside is. Like someone mentioned earlier, prebiotics. I take inulin every day in my coffee. It's a prebiotic, um, uh, also probiotics. Like I like seed probiotics. That's a great brand. Um, taking care of your inside too, I think really shows up on the skin. Yeah, but that's, that's part of our philosophy. So today that's why we talk about integrative dermatology and integrative dermatology talk about the psychological, the biological, but also the lifestyle factors like your lifestyles, the pollution, everything you do to the diets, uh, uh, the, you doing some exercises, and what is super interesting is, I think this is where the science go moving further. Uh, you know, usually uh, when you have an issue, you go to see a doctor that's supposed to fix whatever you're looking for, which kind of disease you are. And today we're working closely with the uh, University of Miami. They spent $30 million in the integrative dermatology that start customizing a little bit the personalization on each individual. And give you a quick example, uh, using this one is always the simple way to understand what is happening. Uh, let's say that you got psoriasis issue, you're going to see a dermatologist and the dermatologist is going to diagnostic your skin disorders and probably will prescribe a cream. But then we're going to prescribe the cream and then I go deeper and knowing you and understanding that you're someone that is constantly in stress and you barely doesn't sleep as you should enough in terms of hours. And if I can identify that, 
not only I'm solving the skin disorders as a psoriasis uh, uh, issue, but also on a very long term. Otherwise, the cream is going to solve, but for a short term until you're getting back to your routine, being stressed and barely sleeping less than six hours every day. So it's pretty interesting because I think everyone understands that today it's having a better holistic approach about your lifestyle and understanding what is meaningful for you, for your skin, and how you can take care of yourself. And something also we've been discussing uh, earlier with different tips during your uh, lifestyle. And it's something was always always existing in Dr. Brian's because he wrote this book already six, seven years ago. It was super pioneering uh, on his side to share all of this, so he understood that, and that's the direction where we're going. So talking about pre and post biotic, it's something we saw already in 2014. So that's why we created the pre and post biotic in 2016, and coming up with products that call about macrobiome. And I believe me on how you can take the best from the Eastern and the Western philosophy. Why not? I think I want the best for the consumers. I don't think one side is better as long as I can take the best and bring the perfect recipe to put this together. And this is what we do with the bio, bio, bio um, the pre post biotic complex. I'm sorry, it's called um, the biotic balancing complex. And we come up with these new products. That's it's my it's our new baby, and uh, it just came out today in our website. So I didn't even talk about to anyone. I just got it. I'm going to be trying it today. I can't wait. You're the first one. It's a I'm real so excited. cream, but you got the pre and post biotic. But most importantly. Um, it's more for inflammation sensitive skin, but you're going to have instant effect for people who got redness inflammation. Yeah, the people keep asking about redness. That's the question I keep seeing. Yeah, so the idea was to truly to reduce redness and mostly uh, after the first application. You got also a very cutting sensation that we put uh, an ingredient inside. If you want to, uh, to give a stronger feeling also, we suggesting because all the products is in glass, you can put in the fridge. And we thought about different ways to get inflammation on the skin. If you go to the beach and you got a, a sunburn, this is a perfect way. If you have a very sensitive skin, you need to take care of your skin and pamper your skin. That will be also a, a, a lifesaver to use every day. I also think a lot of people have broken capillaries around their nose. I know that my yeah. husband struggled with that. That's yeah. really common. Um, so so the redness the broken capillaries, with the prebiotic sounds good. Yeah, it will protect, but the broken capillaries, be careful, uh, it's the sun. Every time you go outside, will accelerate the broken capillaries. And also your diet can have an effect also on the broken capillaries. So again, Also, I mm. notice when he drinks, he gets red. Yeah, that's why I say that. <laughs> and you don't want to be specific. Well, he has a little too much to drink and he's tipsy. But you know, you also you understand that grape seed extract are very good. Polyphenol could be very good in your body. If you, if you only drink only one or two glasses, that's perfect. That's recommended. People want to know if they can add you to the cart. Oh, to the cart. Uh, uh, <laughs> we have to negotiate. I don't think I can come to you guys. Uh, all of you, but we're in quarantine, so that's not possible. I'm sorry, no, maybe guys. maybe we'll do like um, a live podcast or something together when everything goes back to normal. So um, I feel like I feel like we still will do some fun stuff together. So maybe the audience can can come see you that way. <laughs> okay. Okay, with pleasure, anytime. But I just hope that all this nightmare will finish soon and everyone can get back, get back to normal. Because Before we go and I want to do a giveaway, can, can you tell us just a French beauty secret that maybe um, we need to know about? Something that's so random. Is there any like French like best kept secret that we need to know? French recipe that beauty, you know. Uh, hmm, I think... Uh, I don't know really if I know a real one, but for what I learned and understood, the people in the south of France, they're living much older than the rest of the countries. And then when we understand their lifestyle, they less stress, they drink wine, but moderately, but also they have a lot of oil, omega in their food, because in south of France is very rich. And I think, uh, I don't know, maybe they got the recipe in South of France and maybe I should spend more time over there. Uh, to That's so talk. interesting that you say that because we just had Dr. Gundry on the podcast and he's oh, so sorry. about prebiotics, which we were talking about earlier, and probiotics. And his gift to me was a huge liter of olive oil. And he said, Lauren, have an entire liter of olive oil every single week. He said, your skin 
Yeah. Um, everything will be so much more luscious. Your hair, your nails. He said, bring olive oil to the table and pour it on everything. Use yeah. everything as a vehicle to get olive oil in your mouth. Um, so, so now I'm removing my makeup with it and just drinking olive oil so I can just look like I'm from the south of France. Uh, yeah, but the, because you got a lot of olive oil, that's why the recipe I can give you today from French side. That's a great tip. Lower your stress and eat so much olive oil and use your prebiotic moisturizer, exfoliate, and try the pore primer. It's called, the one that I recommend you guys is the pore refiner primer. Um, is it okay if we do a little giveaway with this with these three products that I like? Yeah, uh, which which one? The, oh, okay, the Cool Biotic, the Micro Region Primer from Primer, absolutely, yeah. But uh, that's right. the giveaway. Okay, Let, that's Cool Biotic is a brand new one. But who so does? maybe we do this. Maybe we do these two. No, but uh, we are today. Uh, we want to, but that's a special community for you. So uh, if we are all stuck in quarantine. Let's bring the cool biotic. Uh, even so, you guys get the today. prebiotic one that no one's tried yet, too. Yeah, yeah. Let's bring the cool biotic. It would be interesting what your audience will. How say. many winners can we pick? How try. many winners are? Can we pick two or three? What do you, What do you yes. think we should do? Two or three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's so, take, guys, we're all stuck in quarantine. Let's take three winners. This is like. Skin Gold. Um, all you have to do is follow at Dr. Brandt on Instagram and let me know on my latest Instagram at The Skinny Confidential what your favorite Dr. Brandt product is. If you haven't tried their products, like you have to, but just look at their website and see what you think your favorite is. Um, I think a lot of you guys are going to like this one. And we'll pick three winners, right? Is that good? Yes, perfect. Uh, look forward to know who the three winners. You're amazing. I learned so much. I'm I'm gonna go eat olive oil, lower my stress levels. And, and, come, and come in supper friends with the family. Yes. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's let's do a live podcast in the south of France. Yeah, uh, that's 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 the plan. That's but that's I would love to as well. Okay, so why not? You know, we can always do something. Let's uh, let's 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 figure out. I'm sure we will. But Lauren, thank you. Thank you for being also with us today. It was a pleasure to have you and congratulations on the baby. And maybe uh, I will bring mine as well. So maybe they can meet each other <laughs> because they barely have been one month. Uh, different. They can be friends. But congratulations again. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you too. Thank you for hopping on. Let's do this again. Yeah, sounds good. Bye. Bye guys. Thank you guys.